Hi, this is in fact NeuroMo, and in these videos I will discuss and teach you how to use machine learning in R to classify different groups using neuroimaging features. In this particular series, I will be using morphometric features obtained from free surfer re cortical reconstruction to predict the sex of participants. I believe this tutorial methodology is basic and accessible to everyone with little coding experience needed, and I hope these videos will enable other neuroimagers to apply machine learning techniques to their own data sets. The overall goal is we will be using R to classify the sex of participants based on brain morphometry, like I said earlier. Learn how to use this method to generalize to other brain measures, such as resting state, like FALF, and then also learn how to scale this method so we can combine, say, morphometry with resting state features and to improve our model. Here's a brief overview of what will be in these tutorial videos. So I want to first walk you through how to get your data into the right format so it's compatible with R and other programming languages. And I'm also going to show you how to set up your R environment, filter out unnecessary var variables or features, and checking to make sure your demographics are matched between groups, which you know is very important regardless of what kind of modeling you're doing, feature plotting and feature selection, because it's always good to look at your variables, pre-processing, cross-validation, common machine learning models, uh, what classification is and the difference between regression and classification, and how to stack multiple machine learning models together. Each of these bullet points will get their own video or two videos to make sure they're short and digestible for you. Along with how to do everything in R, I'll be sprinkling in some technical details or best practices and what you can and can't do with this machine learning model or method, excuse me. This field is new to neuroimaging and is catching on rapidly, so it is hard to determine what should be accepted as good practice in peer-reviewed papers and what is not or what is best for your own particular analysis. So you will need to know some things before you start these tutorial videos. It is very helpful to have a basic understanding of how to use R, and if you've never used R, please follow this video on how to install R in R Studio along with the basics of R. You also need to know how to obtain morphometric measures using free surfer cortical reconstruction. You can follow this tutorial, which I use to get the features that we will be using here. For your convenience, I've provided a link to my GitHub in the description below, and you can download the spreadsheet I'll be using and the code I'm using in these next tutorial videos. This data is from the Human Connectome Project, and it is open access, and the link is in the description below. I also suggest having some background statistics. Machine learning relies on a lot of statistical concepts, and some of them you might not be familiar with because some of them are advanced. If you'd like to learn more about machine learning statistics, I highly suggest reading this book and doing the problems along in the book. They're all in R, and the book is free. I highly suggest reading it if you are not familiar with a lot of statistical concepts or are just need a good refresher. All right, seems like we're ready to get started, and I hope these next tutorial videos will be helpful for your analyses.